All right, we're going to talk about NeoGAF gaming forums, a little controversy. Uh, if this isn't really what you come to this channel for, I totally understand. So feel free to move on to our next video or any other videos we've done in the past. But I wanted to talk about this because NeoGAF is near and dear to my heart. And for those who don't know what NeoGAF is, NeoGAF was a video game forum that gathered game developers, uh, video game media people, and just gaming fans together. Now, it was a gated community. Not anyone could join. You would essentially create an account and pray that a moderator from NeoGAF would approve you. And as a gated community, there really wasn't any necessarily requirements when it came to be accepted to the community. Obviously, if you were a game developer or a media member, you were more likely to be accepted. Uh, it took me actually multiple attempts before I got it accepted. And I got accepted back when I worked at Zelda Informer. And I was accepted on the premise that I'm a member of the media and I went to E3 and yada, yada, yada. So I've been a member of NeoGAF for years. And the forum itself started back in 2006. Now, it actually broke away from another uh, website and, and community that was falling down. and was founded by a guy who goes by the name Evil Lore. His real name is Tyler. Uh, and we'll get into him in a, in a bit here. Uh, and for the past 11 years, it's been the leading video game forum on the Internet. Now, you might think, oh, what about Reddit? What about this? What about that? None of it was necessarily as prevalent as NeoGAF. In fact, because of NeoGAF's unique ability to combine media members, fans, and actual game developers together on one forum, it has often become a source of news for us here at Nintendo Prime. A lot of videos I have done I have sourced to NeoGAF, either because NeoGAF found out the news first, or because NeoGAF had additional information about the news, such as translations or uh, game developer input, that wasn't present at the original source. So we would often put NeoGAF threads as a source in our news source link on some of our videos, because I felt like it provided greater context than the original source of say, the interview or the quote or whatever the news might be. Now, this gets back to a larger point of whether or not I should have been doing that, uh, but I felt like I wanted to give you the most informative link I could, and NeoGAF was always kind of the place for that. Now, that doesn't mean that there hasn't been controversy at NeoGAF over the years. In fact, we know there's been controversy with just gaming in general over the years, whether it was Gamergate or uh, all of the PC and SJW stuff that's gone out there. There's been issues accepting, you know, transgender and gay people. And we all know about the issues accepting women in the video game industry and treating them as equals. Uh, it's been an ongoing controversy for in, in gaming and really the world. I mean, these controversies aren't exclusive to gaming, but uh, outside of Gamergate. But yeah, it's it's been uh, issues that... NeoGAF has always tackled in a way that I guess a lot of people viewed as highly progressive. Uh, there definitely were more of a progressive website, uh, for better or for worse, and sometimes extremely so. In fact, if you were someone like me, and I, I tend to ride the fence on a lot of issues because I saw merits for Gamergate and I saw merits against Gamergate, so I kind of just sat in the middle, and that actually got me banned at one point because... Uh, apparently, if you didn't take a strong stance against Gamergate or a strong stance for Gamergate, and if you took a strong stance for Gamergate, you were banned anyways, um, you were not uh, necessarily allowed to have a voice there. You weren't allowed to make an argument for both sides of the fence. Uh, because you, just like in politics, sometimes it's really hard when you're involved in political viewpoints where you're trying to take a stance that sees some merits in what, like, say, Donald Trump is doing and some merits in what people are saying against Donald Trump. Uh, it's very hard in a community like NeoGAF that is highly progressive, uh, just like it would be h really hard in a community that was highly regressive, uh, to sit in the middle. So it was always a very hard community for me, but I kind of learned over the years to step away from some of the controversial stuff and just focus on what I came to NeoGAF for in the first place, and that was just to talk about video games. Threads on Fire Emblem Warriors there were just making me smile. There were so many uh, official threads and gaming threads and, and actual news beyond the drama uh, that was just well worth talking about. Uh, one of my favorite groups, actually, actually two of my favorite groups, kind of funny, 
and Easy Allies. Now I'm gonna focus more on Easy Allies because the kind of funny crew came from IGN and they've already had like millions of followers through other places like Twitter. But Easy Allies, uh, they were essentially able to become what they did because of largely because of NeoGaf. Now this isn't to take any credit away from them. They are fantastic people that did an amazing job over at game trailers. But NeoGaf was the place that had the big draw of support of thousands upon thousands of people for what they were doing after the closure of game trailers. And so Easy Allies, a lot of their backers were, you know, NeoGAF members or now former NeoGAF members. So what happened? Over this weekend, over this past weekend, uh, when I went to find some news on Sunday, and you know Sunday is my day of prime comments and stuff, uh, one of the first news places I always checked was NeoGAF because they generally would get on top of news uh, faster than a lot of other outlets out there. In fact, there was a very common thing out there for uh, a website to report on something from NeoGAF and then a second thread to show up at NeoGAF about that website's report that actually came from NeoGAF. So it was like NeoGAF report NeoGAF uh, in terms of sourcing. It was always always fun times and it actually happened quite often but so they were always one of the first places i went to for news even if i wasn't openly conversing with the community and that was always an interesting thing in that of itself but over the weekend I, as i went to check news on sunday the site was offline i had a 503 error which a 503 error which is a server error it basically means that uh the server's up, but they're not getting a response from, say, uh, the data, the database or something. It basically means that someone took down the forums, and there was a message up that said uh, it's temporarily down for maintenance. And I didn't think much of it at the time. I just figured, okay, cool. I mean, NeoGAF is a massive forum, one of the biggest forums in the world. It's uh, going to need maintenance once in a while. Maybe they decided to upgrade the forum to a newer version, and in doing that, obviously, it's going to take the, this place down because there's going to be bugs and issues they need to work out. Well... That's not, uh, as the site stayed down throughout the day, and I started I started getting into the night of Sunday, uh, I, I just decided to type NeoGAF into Google and see, uh, you know, I actually typed in NeoGAF is down, and that's when I discovered some allegations that were made against the site's owner, the aforementioned evil lore. And the allegations are pretty bad. Uh, they come from a woman who basically claimed that that she was sexually harassed by him uh, and in a pretty bad way. Not necessarily like he forced himself on her and, and did anything like that, but it got pretty close. Uh, kind of the allegation stems that uh, she was at his hotel room and taking a shower and he decided to get naked and get in the shower with her and make advances on her. And she kept saying, I'm not comfortable with this. I have a boyfriend. I don't want you in here, yada, yada, yada. And then after that incident, he proceeded to basically treat her like crap and uh it this is like apparently the second or third or fourth allegation at this point against him it was the second made public i think a couple more have come out since uh and i, I want to make it clear these are allegations right we don't know uh, any facts of the situation, and this is why I didn't want to talk about it because uh, it was stated that Evil Lore was going to give a public response at some point today. That hasn't happened yet. It might not happen, uh, and maybe he's getting sued now or something. I have no idea. I don't know what's going on, but he decided to take out NeoGAF because NeoGAF was kind of uh, going after him. After this allegation came out, a bunch of moderators quit, like just outright quit. They wanted nothing to do with NeoGAF. And a lot of members of NeoGAF started pointing out and chastising Evil Lore over this. And while I didn't personally see this, this all happened on Saturday night, and I was actually on NeoGAF Saturday night, I didn't notice this, but a lot of it wasn't happening in the gaming forums, it was happening in the community forums. If you didn't know, uh, a lot of times forums have different sections, and gaming was the most prevalent, that's why people were there. Then there was like a community section where you could talk about politics or you know, your life or in general, right? It, more of a community aspect of things beyond just talking about games. And that's where he was getting chastised a lot. Now, a thread did end up popping up uh, with a fake Nintendo Direct announcement um, that was basically aimed at uh, drawing attention to it in the gaming forum because there's a lot of people like me who visited the gaming forum that did not visit the community forum. Uh, so might not have any idea these allegations were even going on, as I didn't. Um, and... In the wake of this, it's been just a, a very interesting thing to me. Uh, there's like another forum trying to pop up called Reset Era or something like that. It's supposed to launch today. Who knows if that's going to work out. Uh, honestly, this feels like the death of NeoGAF. I don't think, regardless of what happens, uh, with how progressive 
NeoGAF was and, and how progressive even Evil Lore himself has been on Twitter and stuff in the past. Uh, to have these allegations looming over your head, you know, true or not, uh, I tend to lead, lean towards the true personally because I don't feel like there's any reason that people that I, I just don't think women are out there to lie and, and get people uh, when, especially when they're in like positions of power like this. If they were out to get him and like for money reasons, they would be filing a, a sexual harassment lawsuit and actually go after his money. But just bringing the allegations forward and drawing attention to it, um, I, I think is just a means of. Of, of finally having the strength to come forward. Now, obviously, she could be lying. Uh, I don't know her personally. I have no, I have no reason to vouch for her. But uh, these allegations in the past have kind of tended towards being true. And this is happening now. You know, we all know about what's happening with Weinstein and, and just a, a lot of stuff happening out there in terms of these allegations and a lot of facts coming out proving they're true. So I'm going to lean towards the truth side here. So it's hard for me to say I'm sad to see Neil Gaff go since it was feed in his pocket. NeoGAF had a very small amount of ads on it, but those ads were enough to make it so Evil Lord didn't have to work, right? And not just didn't have to work, um, he could travel the world and, and was making lots of money off of NeoGAF, which most people didn't mind, right? Like, it's okay to make money off of something that you run, um, but uh, to make money on a place that prides itself in being progressive while the owner is definitely not acting in the correct light in respect to women, uh, is obviously counter counterintuitive, and a lot of NeoGAF members are never going to go back to NeoGAF. Even if he finds a way to bring the forums back, they're probably never going to be what they were. A lot of game developers and games media people are going to distance themselves from NeoGAF in a hurry, uh, myself probably included. Uh, I might check it out just to see what happens in the aftermath, but uh, I doubt I'm going to be sourcing anything from NeoGAF anymore. Even if I end up finding news there first, I'm not going to give them any extra press beyond this video. It's... Not until we know what happened. If it turns out that she lied and that this is all made up stuff and, um, you know, he's a victim, then okay. But until proven otherwise, we're going to go the safe route and just leave NeoGAF out of future discussions. But I, I don't know what's going to happen with Reset Era. I don't think Reset Era is going to do anything. I think at this point, um, my dream has always been to have a gaming forum that brought developers, publishers, and gamers together. And unfortunately, uh, well, as NeoGAF got worse and worse over the years and drove away a lot of content creators, you know, we'd be YouTubers for having different opinions, um, for a place that prided itself on open discussion and willing to accept many different uh, opinions that ended up generally not being true. And I, I'm almost sad in a way to see NeoGAF go too, because NeoGAF represented the only true chance to bring game developers, uh, game makers and uh, games media and fans together even in a gated way it, it was like the only place to do that so regardless of what happens with this supposedly uh you know disc uh, reset era thing that was founded by the discord group for neogaf i don't think anything is going to rebuild that i don't think there's any way to make another neogaf in 2017 I think that with NeoGAF gone, my dream of having an all-encompassing forum like that is done. And it sucks. And it sucks because I've always liked forums. I don't. Not many of you know this. We actually have Nintendo Prime forums. They are not skinned right now. We have someone working on a skin behind the scenes. But if you go to forums.nintendoprime.net, you'll see an Envision Pro board community that I own. I, I actually have a lifetime license for the Envision uh, Power software. And it's not skinned, but we have a Nintendo discussion board. And I, you know, in wake of this, I decided, you know what? I want to encourage people to go there. Because oftentimes, I see people in our comments, even on our Discord at times, being like, Hey, Nate, have you seen this news? Hey, have you seen this? Hey, have you seen that? Let's do that at our forums. Let's, let's make our forum community and our community at Nintendo Prime uh, be all about bringing that news to attention because well yes we have Nintendo Prime.net that has news posts but I, without me uh, online sometimes those news posts don't go live because I approve of everything so what I want to make these forums be is I want to kind of make them our little own Nintendo um, I hate saying NeoGAF at this point but Nintendo NeoGAF kind of forum I want all of you guys to go there they are open I don't I do not privatize them um, you do not need manual approval to be part of the community we currently don't have any rules uh, but the general rules that I, I would say for the forums are the same ones I kind of hold here. You know, don't be a dick. 
It's pretty simple. Just don't be a dick. Uh, you can have different opinions and very. You've seen it in our comment section. I'll have varying opinions with different people. Uh, that's fine, but don't attack people is, is essentially the general rule there. Don't be a dick and don't attack people. Uh, but let's make that the Nintendo discussion board uh, a place where we gather news as a community and talk about it. Uh, and then, you, lo and behold, maybe I'll start being able to source your guys' very own post and give you personally credit for finding that news in the videos we make here on YouTube. I would like to make that a Nintendo gaffe, and we... Uh, as a community can make that happen. Now, there's going to be other more popular outlets. There's going to be a lot of people trying to take advantage of the fact NeoGAF is gone. Um, and I don't really... Maybe that's what I'm doing here, I guess. But uh, I view it more as I miss having a forum that has a place to discuss this stuff. And I've checked out several other gaming forums and Nintendo forums over the last 24 hours. None of them provide to me what I felt NeoGAF did. Uh, and while we might not ever get game developers or games media on our forums, who knows? Uh, I could see some indie developers and such, if our forums get popular enough, that are going to want to come there and check out uh, and talk to us about their games. I, I know some indie developers. Maybe we can make a push to be like, hey, look, if you thought about posting about your game on our forums um, and, and getting some feedback on it more directly there instead of waiting for us to make a YouTube video on it or whatever the case may be. So I hope that all of you guys consider going to forums.nintendoprime.net and uh, trying to make it a bit of a Nintendo gaffe. As I said, reporting on news that you haven't seen us talk about yet in regards to Nintendo. And, and each news you find like is worthy of a new thread. Um, if this starts to work out, I'll probably flush out the rule set a little bit just in terms of how we want to present the news, um, How you know what kind of news is worthy of a new thread. But for now, let's just head on all over there and have a good time. Um, I'm going to miss Neil gaff for what its promise was uh not necessarily what it ultimately was at the end of the day i'm going to miss it it's sad that it's gone but you know if these allegations are true uh it probably the site probably should have never been around in the first place and it sucks because we my whole life in wanting a community like that every community i've been a part of seems to fall apart because the people running it um just turn out not to be very good people and Whatever you might hear on the internet about me uh, and some people who dislike me, I think in general I've turned over a leaf. I've been honest. I, I recently did a live stream where I went over some of my, uh, you know, not some of, basically my entire dark history uh, and some of the bad things I've done in the past. And surprisingly, a lot of the people watching were, were understanding. Uh, we all make mistakes. We, we all do things uh, for various reasons. Uh, and... As long as you know you're willing to accept that it was a mistake and that you would do do you know do things differently if you could do it again, I think that that's a big sign that I've changed. So I'm hoping that you guys check out forums at nintendoprime.net uh, and start you know treating it like our little version, our little corner of the internet, our little Nintendo gaff, uh, getting the threads going, getting the conversations going, bringing the conversations off of even YouTube and extending them there because YouTube after like a day or two the conversation kind of dies out, whereas like on a forum, we can keep that conversation. Like a Super Mario Odyssey, we could have a launch thread for Super Mario Odyssey and just keep that conversation going for months on end instead of having it vanish after like one video here on the channel. Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Ruffle Jans from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. Again, a bit of an oddball po uh, video today, but they I thank you for anyone who's made it here to the end. And you know what, folks? I'll catch you in the next one.